Hello everybody and welcome back to another RC Cars presentation and today we will be taking a look at the two featured cars from Case H which as you can see right here is Sally with Tattoo and Alberto. Now <clears throat> these two were released in the same case not 100% sure if there was Luigi and Glue with headsets in this case, but I know that he they appeared in another case, so, um, you know, it, I just kind of did that video on its own. But, um, I have not found these at stores at all. I found these, I actually got these at Christmas, and so I haven't found these uh, at the store at all. And, uh, my ca my stores, I guess, just jumped to Case L, and I kind of skipped over Case H here. But as you can see, we've got Alberto, which is a brand new character. Um, it's a Francesco fan, it's one of the race fans, as you can see in the race fan series number nine out of nine as you can see we could um check out some other models in the series uh kareem cavi two-pack father bird two-pack denise beam carney carsper and mama Benuli were all released um previously in a single pack as you can see right there fans cheer on their favorite racers in the seaside town of Porto corza home to the second race of the world grand prix so that's pretty cool but i mean i have to say this is probably one of my favorite um I guess series out of the whole um, year this year because it had quite a few new releases but I do have to say my favorite series was Paris Tour and uh, as you can see here from uh, Radiator Springs collection the only new release from this collection this year was Sally with Tattoo number 15 of 15 and as you can see it's basically just Sally with a different expression and has this uh, her like little hutchback um, popped up so you could kind of see the tattoo. We'll get a closer look when I uh, take this one out of the package. But <clears throat> here's some other releases. Uh, Doc Hudson, Brand New Mater, Ramon in Purple, Cruz and Lane McQueen, and Lizzie, of course. Um, and as you can see, a little um, bio here is Lightning McQueen slows down to enjoy small town Radio Springs before heading to the Piston Cup tiebreaker race. That's not necessarily true, I have to say, he kind of didn't, like, just casually go into the town to, you know, take a break before the tiebreaker race, but whatever they want to put on there, but uh, I'm sorry, I didn't get a video, I know somebody asked me to do Little King um, review, and I will be doing those All the Planes reviews um, in the next few days, and I just kind of wanted to do my last case um, unboxing, this is the last case I have, case H, I've done case L, case um, the 2015 case, I've done the Mama Bernoulli, Luigi and Guido, and, uh, so I've done a lot of those, and this is my last one, and also, I apologize for not getting as many videos out lately, I've been very busy, so I hate not getting a video out in, in the week, but, hope you guys don't mind that, I'm gonna probably get a video out Saturday, today, and tomorrow, Sunday, hopefully, I'm going to the Bulls game tomorrow, so, uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get a video out, but I might pre-record one, but, on to the cars again. I just wanted to ask you guys if you want me to review the 95 fans, Luigi and Guido, please let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to open them myself. I have the, I've had these sitting on my, like, kind of table here for, like, like forever. It's almost about a year now. These uh, I got these in April when they came out. So if you guys want to see a review on these, I'll do it. Otherwise, I'll just open them myself because that's become old news now. But uh, let's get on to Alberto and Sally with Tattoo. I guess I'll open Sally with Tattoo. Actually, I'll open both at the same time, so we don't have to go through the uh, kind of wasting time. <clears throat> all right. But yeah, I haven't found these in stores at all. I know actually a lot of people are finding these in stores and not Case L, and it seems to be the opposite for me. I've been finding Case L a lot more and I have found this case, but I haven't found this case at all. But, uh, you know, you guys know what I mean. Alright, I think this case was pretty good. Um, had two new releases, and I'm not, I think there was only one that was each in there, which kind of is unfortunate, but they do that with all their really new releases now. There's only, like, one in a case. But uh, here we go. We got Alberto and Sally with Tattoo, and I guess we should take a look at Sally with Tattoo first, get the kind of more boring one out of the way, but here we have the regular Sally with Tattoo, or not, not just the regular Sally, and there's already a noticeable difference right there, as you can see, the obviously the eyes 
her eyes are now up here and the mouth is a lot different but another thing that's um quite noticeable is the color as you can see the sally with tattoo is a lot darker shade of blue instead of the normal sally is a lot lighter shade of blue so that's kind of odd and i guess it's just kind of a painting kind of thing but um in different factories and such so another thing that i noticed right away is as you can see the porsche emblem as you if you guys didn't know sally what is a porsche but as you can see the porsche emblem if i could focus in on it there you go you guys can see the porsche emblem right there and they changed it quite a bit on the new sally uh, it's a lot bigger a lot better colors and stuff i think it looks good but i don't know if you should change the model like that big a difference um, it kind of looks kind of odd, but I think it looks pretty good. I think this new um, emblem looks a lot better, but I don't know if they necessarily should have changed it. But uh, that's up to Mattel and stuff. As you can see, um, you can still kind of see the coloring there. Nothing too much on the side, but as you can see here on the back is where everything is uh, centered around. As you can see, um, Sally has her like little trunk hutchback thing down and then here it's up and you can actually see the tattoo under it and if you guys don't remember where this is in the movie i'll probably point out i have a picture like right here right here uh, of where she actually appeared in the movie but i can't do that for alberto because he was nowhere to be found <laughs> but as you can see uh you can see the tattoo under there so that's pretty cool of course it says carrera because she is a porsche carrera some differences in the lights of course the coloring is a little bit different um man she's not focusing too good today but uh a good thing that they have the same license plate you know you always gotta make sure they have the same license plate but as you can see it reads 301 pce and same thing with this one only it's a little bit smaller so they kind of made this sally a lot, kind of the graphics a little bit bigger, I guess. Um, but I, I think it looks pretty good. You're a nice kind of car to add to your collection. I will be picking up another one if I do find it in the stores, but I doubt I'll find another sally with tattoo now. It's, been, it's kind of late now. And now we got the star of the case, Alberto. A lot of people got this confused with Alfredo. They're like, Alberto, Alfredo. So, uh... This is a Francesco Bernoulli fan, of course, as you can see, you got the F and the Italian flag there, which symbolizes Francesco, of course, and this is a nice blue kind of color. Um, here's some other models that are the same. This is actually a Fiat, if you can see right there. You can see the Fiat logo right there on the hood, and it's a little bit more clear on the packaging, but um, you can also see it on the hood there. And uh, so this is Frank Lachensen, and I'm not sure that uh, these are different models. I'm pretty sure they actually might be the same. Yeah, they're the same. They are. i um, pretty sure they are the same model. They just have different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are the same model. They just have different kind of add-ons and stuff, as you can see. Um, Alberto here has the antenna piece, and then Frank has the uh, Francesco Bernoulli uh, flag right there on the top, because he is also a Francesco fan. And, um, uh, yeah, they are the same, only that um, now, I guess, Mattel kind of made this more like a Fiat. As you can see, that is so clear that you can see that that's Fiat right there. Of course, the license plate ck 5230 g and with Alberto, it's just kind of a kind of button of black kind of circle around there with 00-775 which is kind of the same thing on the front here they put a red dot and then the two black lines going across there and then here they actually made it more like a fiat with the um red logo in the middle so that's kind of cool maybe mattel got the licensing to like license fiat stuff so then they could actually put it on their die cast um, another thing that was kind of interesting, I have this, I'm not sure what this model is, I feel like it's an Opel, but this is Carney Carsper, and uh, he's kind of, he's much smaller though than these guys, um, you know, the same, but this is a Lightning McQueen fan, finally, we got a Lightning McQueen fan, <laughs> oh, they're doing a lot of, like, Francesco fans and stuff, but, um, it's pretty much all I have for Alberto. He does have a pretty cool expression, um, I have to admit. That's, that's a pretty nice expression with his eyes going to the side. Um, but nothing much to say. He has the colored headlights versus Frank just had silver headlights. And now um, Alberto has red kind of headlights, which is nice. Um, the wheels are different. 
Yeah, no, no, the wheels aren't different. They are the same, they just have um, different colorings to it. Franks are gray, and then um, Albertos are silver, so that's kind of interesting. Man, I make these videos go so long, I'm sorry about this, guys. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. That's all I have to say for this pair from Case H. Very nice models in my opinion. I think they look great. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Again, please let me know if you want to see this in a review. Otherwise, I'll just open up myself. And I uh, hope you guys are having a good weekend. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.